Welcome back to my YouTube channel, my loves. How have you been the last couple of weeks since we last spoke to one another? Um, I hope you've been doing well. Maybe some of you got sick recently like I did. So a couple weeks ago, I actually got sick. I don't know exactly why. Um, maybe I got the thing that's happening in, around the world or some variant of it, or maybe it was just my physical body physically releasing energy uh, because I had learned and processed like a major soul lesson a couple weeks ago and like right as that happened I started getting sick so it was weird so I don't know if that's what it was I haven't asked my guys yet but I will soon exactly what it was but yeah I was sick a couple of weeks and I noticed that a lot of people started getting sick as well probably thanks to mercury retrograde a lot of us kind of got a little bit under the weather and um, as for me you know as I was you know finally getting better then I got hit with Aunt Flo who came to visit and I wasn't feeling well for a couple days <laughs> and then I was like no <laughs> but I want to get back online but you know I had to give my body the time the space to really just rest and recover and so anyway you know the last couple of days I finally have been uh, feeling much better to start moving forward with things again and here I am now you know recording this video for the February monthly energy reading today on February 4th almost 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So a little bit late, but you know, that's why I've been late on this video and why I didn't post the weekly energy readings the last couple of weeks because I've just been, you know, physically just allowing my physical vessel to get itself well. <laughs> so that's what I've been up to. I hope that you're doing well and you're in good health uh, because like I said, I noticed that a lot of people during this time also got um, sick on some level. So you know, I hope that if something happened to you, you recovered or, you know, if you didn't get sick at all, I'm really happy for you that you didn't have to uh, go through that experience because, yeah, you know, I don't know what happened, but January I got sick twice um, for the first time in like years. <laughs> and I'm like, what is going on with this energy in January? <laughs> it was crazy. So anyway, today I am on to do the February 2022 energy reading. But before I get into that real quick, if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, my name is Steph Ventura. I'm the Psychic Soul Empowerment Coach. And basically what I do is I work with people to do very deep levels of healing work, also known as shadow work, inner child healing. And I basically really help people to get to the root cause of whatever is holding them back from really being who they truly are on a soul level and a higher self level and what's really impacting their ability to align with the, their desires and to just show up powerfully in life and so i just work with people to help them to peel away those layers and to really get to the root cause of things and really help them to uh, embody more of their true self their true confidence their true self-worth power and as my clients do this they're then able to much more easily go out in life and uh, manifest their desires more gracefully more quickly they're able to just be more of who they truly are authentically and not care what anyone thinks they're able to take powerful action steps in life so that's how i help people here on my youtube channel you'll find uh, videos on the subjects of mindset manifestation spirituality spiritual entre entrepreneurship spiritual activism my personal thoughts and experiences you'll find also energy reading videos like this one um, I do my best to come on and do the monthly energy readings and then every week I do my best to show up and give you the weekly energy reading for the week so that you know month you know by month and week by week like what to kind of anticipate and expect for the week or the month ahead so that you can use that information to help you navigate your experience much more gracefully so that's what I do here on YouTube so if you haven't yet some night sign I can't talk right now. It's that post Mercury retrograde energy. <laughs> Cause I'm an Aquarius. I just had my birthday <laughs> and um, I don't know what's going on here, but yes, what was I saying? If you have not subscribed to my channel and you enjoyed today's video, uh, then please hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell notification icon, change your settings to all so that you are always notified of when I do upload because I just show up whenever on YouTube, but I do my best to show up as consistently as I can. <laughs> and anyway, with that said, um, I want to get into today's energy reading, okay? I appreciate your patience with me 
and you know you've been waiting five minutes for me to finally get to the point so thank you <laughs> i appreciate you okay so this is what i channeled for the february 2022 energy reading okay the message that i kept hearing over and over and over again when i was asking uh, my spirit squad about the energy was hold on to your hats ladies and gentlemen because you're in for a ride like i kept hearing that and i thought it was so weird i was like what are they talking about <laughs> So hold on to your hats. Now, the reason that they're saying this is because they said February is an extremely powerful month. And during this month, you might feel very consumed by things, okay? Like, you, in this feeling of being consumed by things might feel like you're very focused on something, you're very driven. It's a very like doing kind of energy or this energy that like really moves you forward into doing things, you know, really inspires you to like go all into something. And so that's what this energy for February is bringing forward. Now, they said that it's really important to make sure this month that you're channeling this energy, this powerful energy into the right or relevant or appropriate things in your life at this time um, so you have to be very self-aware and recognize that you're not being easily distracted by some things um, because the energy is just like so powerful and it's like moving you forward like you have to make sure that it's not driving you into things that you don't really need to be spending your time on okay um, and so this energy is going to feel like very invigorating or even very revitalizing uh, depending on you know how you feel about it you know how it affects you um, and it's going to drive you to make big moves this month to feel like you you're bossing up to even um, feel like a greater sense of self-esteem like a boost in your self-esteem okay because um, it's a very powerful energy that just makes you like show up much more powerfully now um you have to be mindful though that you don't let this energy like consume you in a negative way as i said and the way that i saw it or the way that i wrote it down right now um is like make you power hungry in a way because i can't remember the image i got exactly it was kind of okay i'm being reminded right now it's kind of like i couldn't think of an appropriate superhero but like i kept thinking of like dr jekyll or mr hyde or the hulk and like for example i don't know the whole like hulk story okay so forgive me if i get some details wrong but you know the hulk is a regular person who isn't like very you know strong or powerful or whatever and when you go from being like a, a powerless you know puny person to this like powerful unstoppable being that might make you a little bit power hungry and be like no i want to be like that all the time now and then you're you get out of control like the hulk or like with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, you know, like you get con that dark side comes out. You know what I mean? So because this energy is so powerful and can lead you into moving forward in like making these big moves and bossing up and, um, you know, just showing up much more confidently and powerfully, like it might unintentionally drive you to in ways that are like negative and can harm you in some kind of way and i don't want to scare you with that but like for example one of the examples that i wrote down here on my notes is like it can maybe even lead to burnout um potentially you know because if you're like in this powerful invigorating boss energy and you're like yeah, i'm gonna do this i'm making these big moves i'm gonna do da -da 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 -da, and then you do all these things can lead you to burnout right um, and that's not like that negative side because you're feeling so empowered. It's like, I don't know, maybe drugs or something. I haven't really done drugs, okay? The most I have ever done 
is marijuana and I tried it once when I was a teenager because I wanted to see what all the fuss was about and I didn't feel anything and then I tried it again like 10 years later as an adult to see because I figured when I was a teen they must have given me oregano or something because I didn't have any effect on me I did it when I was you know 10 years older in my mid-20s and still nothing and I hated the experience because I thought like why do people damage their lungs <laughs> this is not worth it okay listen if you smoke do you but I'm just saying that's as far as I've gone so forgive me if my knowledge on drugs is wrong <laughs> but it's kind of like drugs <laughs> is the way I'm seeing it now it's like you get this high I don't know what drugs could do this but you know the drugs make you possibly get on this high I guess depending on which drug that is I don't know I'm not an expert but you feel like wow you know like powerful and you're just like in the zone just like high on top of the world and then you can kind of get carried away and maybe like take more drugs because you want to keep feeling great or because you feel like your high is like going away and you're like no i gotta take more drugs but it's been too soon and then you have like an overdose or something do you know what i mean like that's kind of like the feeling that i'm getting from this is you got to be mindful with this energy and make sure that it doesn't consume you in this negative way and take you in a direction that can be reckless that's what i wrote down that can lead to burnout that can cause you to just do more than you can handle or more than is relevant or appropriate for you at this time okay so be mindful of that in february with this energy okay but what they said overall is that all in all so long as you uh are mindful of the things that you are putting your energy into this month okay and you are putting it in the relevant or appropriate tasks or activities whatever it is for you then you're going to powerfully advance in ways that you didn't think you could or you or in ways that you didn't think you would be able to in such a short amount of time in February. Okay, so that is the energy reading for February 2022 that I got asked to share with you. If you haven't yet listened to my yearly overview of 2022, I will put that up here somewhere in the card section for you to go and click on and watch that afterwards so you can hear the overall like overview for this year it's a very powerful year um and might benefit you to know you know like the amazing things that await us in 2022 and if you have not yet signed up for my yearly 2022 reading which is a paid reading it's a paid offer and it's where i break down month by month uh, what to expect each month and how that energy is supporting you and really being able to become the highest version of yourself that you need to be to achieve your goals and your intentions for this year. Okay, it's a very powerful reading. I've been having to um, break it down quarter by quarter because it takes me like an hour and a half to two hours to cover three months at a time. And um, so actually the Sunday we're going to do the third quarter. I'm going to, um, you know, share what what to expect in the third quarter of the year. And then we'll do the fourth quarter at some other time and we'll be done with that. <laughs> and um, so it's very in-depth readings. And let me tell you, like when I watched my stuff for January, it was like so spot on. I was like, oh my God, I'm going through this and this and this and this. And then I started listening to the February reading. Like it's different from this reading here because the other reading... Um, that's the paid offer it gives you m much more specific steps and things like to do practical things and what to look out for etc to help you and i was listening to it the other day and i was like oh my god it's so spot on like that's exactly what i'm feeling right now that's exactly what's coming up right now etc and like even the people you know uh who have signed up for this have let me know like oh my god you're so spot on I'm like i know <laughs> it's blowing my mind right so um if that's something that speaks to you i would encourage you to sign up at the link in the comment section below. I'll pin it to the top of this video. You can go and click on that 
and um, you know you'll have till this month February I believe to purchase that and I really encourage you to you know get on that as soon as possible because there were important action steps that I gave to take for January and um, you know that needs to be done in order for you to set yourself up for success for the rest of the year like every month has certain action steps that you're being asked to take in order to make this your best most amazing successful abundant powerful you know year of quantum leaping so anyway i want to pull some cards to finish this reading uh, so is there anything else that we need to do or know uh for the february 2022 energy reading okay so we're gonna see what we get uh, let's see here you know it's interesting because like a few weeks ago when i did the second quarter reading um my guides told me like you're gonna do the next one in three weeks from now and i was like what three weeks why do we need so long you know but then i got sick <laughs> and then it took a couple weeks you know for me to finally get better and i was like oh i get it now like I thought it was just that we needed extra time to move forward with certain tasks before we move on to the next thing, but it was also probably because I was going to get sick and they knew that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the card that I got is El Moria. It says Awakening Presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. So I'm going to read you the booklet and what it says here El Moria it says that he is a wise soul that is now able to help us remove any energy from our life that is not serving our connection to God he is a wonderful guy to call on if we are unsure if something is real or not he helps us awaken our I am presence which is our truest connection to our soul and to the universe itself so the message is, spiritual protection is important at this time. Ensure that you're cleansing your energy before putting on protection. El Moria is here with a legion of angels to help you understand where you are at now. Fire up your divine connection and detach from dramas, people, and places, and emotions that no longer serve you. Remember that within you there is a mighty soul light. Allow that light to shine through your entire being. Then call on El Moria and his angels to surround you in a light that will help keep you safe on all levels. Also know that facing fears and seeing the truth will strengthen your connection to the universal life force. And you know, it's really interesting that we get this card because today, while I was um, doing my energy work for the first time in like a couple weeks, because I just like totally was humaning and I just didn't, I couldn't be bothered to do any energy maintenance or anything like that I was just like whatever I, I don't even I don't even have the ability right now the strength <laughs> to to work on this and so today I, I did that for the first time in a couple weeks and I noticed there was something on my energy and um, I was guided to like remove that and um, to make sure that I protect my energy um, moving forward because there were certain energies uh, showing up to try to impact my ability to do things that I want to do and that I'm intended to do and that I needed to be mindful of that. So uh, this is for you, my, my beautiful light workers who are feeling called to really level up this month. I don't truly get into too much of like the spiritual warfare stuff just because I think there's a lot of fear mongering and stuff that happens a lot of times in the spiritual community when they try to shine light on that. Um, sometimes I think that the way people bring forward messages is just from a very disempowering energy and fearful energy and I don't do that. Um, at least I try not to. And so, but you know, there is darkness, there is light, you know, there are beings that are wanting to help humanity and there are beings that are wanting to hold humanity back and that's just truth. It's the way it is, you know, you have two sides to everything. And so for my light workers who are feeling called to um, fulfill bigger purposes, make a bigger difference, or, you know, even you in your own life, if you're wanting to completely turn your life around for the better, um, just make sure that you are taking the time this month as well to protect your energy and 
to do what you have to do in order to protect yourself uh, this month from energies that might want to potentially attach themselves to you and impact your ability to move forward in the ways in which you feel called to. So I actually did a... I've been thinking about this recently too, about my crystal series. I have a playlist here on my YouTube channel. It's called Crystals 101. And um, I'm going to put it up here in the card section. But um, I was covering some crystals that you can use for certain things. And I've been wanting to get back on that so that I can share with you crystals that can help you with uh, protection, for example, um, and support your ability to protect yourself. So. I have a feeling I'll do something soon around that that can help you if that's something that interests you, but you can definitely um, call on certain energies that you resonate with to help protect your energy and to safeguard it from people, beings that might impact your ability to, to move forward in the ways in which you feel called to or you're intended to. So be mindful of that in February. So what I'm getting from this card as well is that first of all don't let your fears get the best of you. As many of you or some of you uh, move forward in February with making bigger moves and doing things in a far greater way than you thought possible this month like as you show up much more powerfully um, there might be some pushback from your ego uh, resistance there making you fearful like is this the right thing to do um, do you need to do this at this time are you you know just like whatever fearful thought comes in like who are you to do this etc like there just might be some fears that come up for you as you show up much more powerfully uh, in February and it's really important for you to Recognize that that's not truth and um, to see that that's like an like a little piece or a piece of your old self that's like breaking off as you step into this more empowered energy. How to explain it? So this negative voice that might pop in your head as you're showing up much more powerfully, it's just an old part of you that you're observing is falling away so really be mindful of that as this negativity might arise for you this fear really be mindful of being the observer of it and just being like oh this is part of the old me that is creeping up or showing up now because i'm showing up powerfully and doing these things that the old me wouldn't have done and just observe it and recognize it for what it is, which is just part of the old you that's falling away. And continue to move forward, stepping powerfully as who you truly are and doing the things that you feel called to do this month. And um, yeah, you know, like, remember, remember who you truly are. You're not that fear. You're not that story. You're not that smallness. You're not that worry, okay? Like, remember who you really are. Because remember this being, he helps people connect with who they really are, their I am presence. So recognize that when those old negative things come up for you, observe it and, and just be like, oh, that's who I used to be. But this is who I am now. And this is, I know who I really am, you know? I am big, I am bold, I am brave, I am powerful. Like, lean into that. See through that illusion. You know, don't identify with those negative thoughts or things that come up for you. Lean into your truth, okay? So I really hope that that has helped you today. Let me know. If this message resonated with you by giving this video a thumbs up, a like wherever you're watching from, drop me a comment in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you and see how this resonated with you. And um, yeah, like I said, if you haven't yet signed up for the 2022 yearly 
energy reading, which is the paid offer, I would really encourage you to do so because the information there is truly, truly valuable and um, it's going to support you throughout the rest of the year uh, tremendously with your journey. So yeah, you know, I'm really excited for that and I look forward to seeing you soon uh, again in the next video for the weekly energy reading. And also, if you have not yet uh, connected with me on my social media, uh, that's also going to be in the pinned comment here in the video underneath this video um, that's where you can find me on instagram and tiktok which is where i'm currently most present on but i also have a facebook community that you can join us on um, i'm going to be doing our monthly psychic channeling there on probably monday i think i have to get myself organized <laughs> for this week because i'm catching up on a lot of things but um yeah you know i think i'm going to be doing the psychic channeling there on monday and that community on facebook is there to really help support you with your personal journey of just like empowering yourself and being more of who you truly are and um, inspiring you motivating you uplifting you so that's what that community is all about and uh, then i have another community on the awoke platform if you don't know awoke i'll put the video up here in the comments for you to check out but basically it's a new independent platform that supports people with their spiritual journeys and personal development journeys and on awoke i have my own personal community called soul line leaders and um, what we do there is we do um, monthly accountability calls to help support one another with being able to achieve our intentions and goals for 2022 so we just had our zoom call today uh, and it was amazing you know lots of beautiful connections and exchanges were made and um, so yeah that's where you can find me if you are really serious about progressing with your life in the ways in which you desire to in 2022 that's where you can connect with us there to be held accountable and supported as you go about the process of doing that so there are some kids having lots of fun out here <laughs> running around <laughs> maybe you hear them in the in the microphone i'm not sure but um, yeah, you know, I'd really love to have you come join me either on Facebook or on Awoke. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.